Schritt. 94, 95. Was it getting worse? It's not funny, the COVID. It's not funny. Don't go out, please. I cannot talk so much without coughing. I'm so tired. So, this is my last video. just passed by she said the good news <laughs> I'm positive I'm <laughs> scared no oxygen <coughs> first day without Hello. I'm still alive. I'm kicking, fighting. <coughs> this is my third day in the hospital. <clears throat> Feeling better now. Still with oxygen. And they start giving me some uh, antibiotic. Rubber mycin. If ever uh, something happened to me, something like that, nag-video na ako ng mga ganun na eto na ako, nasa emergency room na ako. I mean, in-update ko yung family ko through videos. And after that, um, parang nag meron din akong videos na parang saying probably this will be my last video kasi nga psychologically iba yung iba yung epekto ng coronavirus sa iyo i was so isolated so ang dami ng ang dami ng mga takot parang mga tipong last will ka na <laughs> last will na yung mga <laughs> messages ko so kasi wala ka nang ibang ano eh wala ka nang ibang way of sending messages to them wala ka na ibang way of uh, telling them para sabihan mo na mahal na mahal ko kayo mga ganun yung pag encourage sa akin ng mga tao at pag send ng prayers ang lakas ang lakas ng impact ang lakas ng impact sa sarili mo kasi you were alone mag-iisa nanginginig ako <laughs> sorry <laughs> nakalabutan ako pero totoo um dahil mag-isa ka na lang I will fight we will fight to all the patient let's fight Wala pa talagang COVID-19 uh, patient doon. Because it's a normal service. We don't uh, take, um, just, it's not like uh, sa emergency or uh, in an ICU. Wala. It's just a normal, for normal patient that are staying there for a long time.
may mga signs and symptoms na ako, but um, hindi ko siya masyadong uh, na feel na coronavirus na pala yun. Because uh, nag-start pa lang siya like headache, tapos uh, the next day it's headache with fever, tapos nawala yung fever. The next day naman, sore throat. For two days, nanginig talaga ako and um, nilalamig ako. I took risk of my own life uh, just to help other people. Siyempre, uh, nakikita namin yung news, no? nanonood kami every time. So, uh, aware kami na madami talagang mga um, namamatay. Madami mga nahawang uh, ibang um, frontliners. So, na normal na natatakot ako natakot ako for not just for myself but mostly for my family syempre um, after work uwi ka sa pamilya mo yun lang talaga yung pinaka nakakatakot and yung hindi mo alam kung sino yung kalaban mo <laughs> hindi mo alam kung sino yung merong virus so they pulled me out sa service and uh, three days after uh, sinabihan ako nung colleague ko na three of my patients that I took care of were positive. Are you sad? No. Why? <laughs> You're just playing? Yes. Okay. See you later. Meron time talaga na uh, natakot ako and yun yung time na lumabas ako ng, ng bahay kinuha na ako ng mga um, people from emergency services. Yun yung takot ko na tinitignan ko lang yung mga bata. Lumalabas ako ng bahay. Tadali na ako sa hospital. And hmm, hindi ko masabi kung makakabalik ba ako. Yun yung pinaka natakot ako. Hindi ko man sila mahag. Hindi ko sila makis nung umalis ako ng bahay. Ay, naiyak ako. <laughs> Dala na ako sa emergency. Mag-isa ka na lang eh. Isolated ka. Tapos, nakahiga ka sa, sa bed. Wala kang makausap. Walang pumapasok na tao sa kwarto mo. The doctor just passed by. She's at the good news. Ha! I'm positive. Another good news. I just need oxygen. No treatment. Only paracetamol. And after 24 hours, they are still monitoring me. If I can manage without the oxygen. Apparently, mine is just... <clears throat> a mad case. I cannot imagine the people who are in severe cases. Check me. You took my urine in the doctor room. I cannot walk from my bed going to the toilet without coughing. The toilet is just there. <coughs> Thank you for your prayers. It's overwhelming and for all the patients suffering of COVID disnef coronavirus we will make it God will make a way and there seems to be no way. God bless you. Iniiyak talaga ako kay Lord, sabi ko, gusto gusto ko pong alagaan yung anak ko. Hindi ko ba lang siya maalagaan kasi bawal nga, naka-lockdown, hindi ko man siya makikahan sa ospital, mag-isa lang siya. 
yun po yung sobrang sakit sa pakiramdam ng isang ina na hindi mo man maalagaan yung anak mo sa diyang pagdarasal na lang talaga yung pagtitiwala talaga ay God yung pinanghawaan to that time. Ito sobrang sakit. Of course, you know, I was missing her very much not to um, be with us. But for me, she was in the place that will help her get better. So it was kind of um, okay to deal with. Even if, of course, uh, I was worried, I was hoping everything would be okay. When she was isolated, I was just um, occupying the kids a lot for them not to really realize and understand completely what was going on. They missed her, for sure. They were worried, that's for sure as well. But at least we made it easier for them to deal with the situation. I think that What we learned about all this is that we can call, count on uh, one another. Siyempre, nakakausap ko na lang sa video yung mga apo ko. Sabi ko, uh, sabi kasi nung pangalan niya, si Lucky, sabi ko, What are you doing? Sabi ko niya, I'm praying for my mom. Uh, she will be okay. Yun po, sabi niya kasi pinagpipray daw niya ang mami niya. So today I survived for 24 hours without oxygen and uh, I made it. See, I have my permit to go out. So far, um, I can feel na I'm gaining my energy. Habang ngayon na okay, nakakatawa na ako na natatawanan ko na lang yung nangyari sa akin. Pero looking back, talagang nahihirapan talaga ako. At talaga pala, no, maiisip mo na I was facing that last, that time and wala ka ng ibang gawin kundi magpasalamat, magpasorry, at uh, humingi ng tawad. Kung may babalik ko lang yung panahon na bago ako magkasakit, hindi pa rin magbabago yung isip ko. To be a nurse, to be someone who can take care of those patients na they really need attention. Wala eh, may pusong nurse ka eh. <laughs> going to make this room. It's very ng PPEs and um, uh, laban lang. Sama-sama tayo, buong mundo, mga frontliners ngayon, tayong tunituring na, na heroes because we are not afraid of um, to face this coronavirus. This is because of our calling and because of our heart Now we are willing to help other people even if it's um, life and death situation. Bravo on our frontliners!